In this video, I'm going to show you seven ways to help you organize your desktop computer. Coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to Rising to Be, the only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be, helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe so that you can become a riser. Stop being fake and click like, it's free I promise. And click the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Sometimes YouTube likes to hide my videos if you don't also click the bell, so make sure you do that as well. So let's get into this video. Anyway, today's video is going to be about the seven ways to organize your desktop computer. Your personal computer plays a major role in your productivity, which is why I strongly suggest using at least one of these tips in your life. So let's get into it. Now without further ado, the first tip I have for you is use files, label and sort. I know you think that your computer is organized, but if it looks like this, then it isn't. And the greatest way to get organized is through using files. You can use files to store your budget by making a monthly file for your monthly bills like your cable, cell phone, water, and light bill, etc. Even for Rising to B, I have a file on my computer labeled Rising to B. And inside that file, I have three other files labeled blogs, podcasts, and videos. And each of them are color coded actually. Um, I have purple for podcasts, blue for YouTube, of course, and then pink for blogs. And each of them are color coded whenever I feel like I'm being lazy and don't want to give something a real label. If you're an online shopper like me and sometimes you may have a few issues with your orders and sometimes you may even need to make a return, then keeping your receipts or order numbers inside of a file can be very handy. But when you call customer service, they ask you what is the order number and you simply have no idea. That's a problem. Which is why I simply take a screenshot of the order page and label the photo with the name of the store and the date that I ordered it on. And this has truly been a game changer and even adding a warranty folder for all of the overpriced electronics I own. If you're a student, get your computer together before your teacher takes Zoom attendance. Create a color coded folder for all of your classes so that you will never misplace an assignment again. This strategy actually saved me during my last semester of college when my professor simply asked me to resend an assignment that she lost. Not me, she lost the assignment that was actually from around the midterm season, but she was grading old assignments the days before I graduate. So she decided to ask if I could simply redo the entire thing due to her mistake. Do you understand the level of relief I felt in my soul when all I had to do was simply resend the assignment to her? Due to the situation that this world is still under, I can promise you that although your teachers may be great, they may still lose or misplace your assignments. And that's fine, but give yourself some peace of mind, protect your academic career, and stay organized. Productive wallpapers. Your computer wallpaper can affect your mood more than you actually think. Find wallpapers of a quote from someone you look up to, or even use a scripture that you love with all your heart to be your wallpaper to remind you of your relationship with God. Make a collage of your family and friends to motivate you as you work, especially if you're working hard for their best interests. No matter what you choose, choose something that will keep you motivated as you work. If you're having trouble finding one that you like, you can download some of my wallpapers that I have made specifically for this video. Tip 3. Storage and digital storage. No matter what kind or brand of computer you use, the storage on it will fill up and slow your computer down. Which is why it's important that we try our best to optimize our storage on our devices and digitally. In order to know how much extra storage you'll need, you have to first delete the unnecessary. Delete unnecessary photos, unused computer programs, and of course old files. Do you really need a copy of your 8th grade history paper? I'm sure you don't. Make room for all of the new files that will come. By doing this, your computer's performance will improve drastically by simply removing the unnecessary. Once that's done, now it's time to find extra storage you can use, digital or cloud storage programs like Dropbox and Google Drive. I personally use Google Drive for storing all of my completed YouTube videos and podcasts, and I pay $9.99 for 2 terabytes of storage every month. And lately, my computer has been breathing hard and shutting down while editing. So I bought this little thing called an SSD, which is an external storage that I can use to edit my videos on. I did a lot of research, basically watched a bunch of YouTube videos on them. And SSDs are a better version of a hard drive. They are faster and allow you to transfer back and forth easily and quicker than a regular hard drive. It's basically like a fast hard drive or a super hard drive. 
Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I just want to share the word of the day with you, which is endurance, the fact or power of enduring an unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving way. And our monthly theme for the month of August is the month of creating our own path. And if you want to stay motivated and inspired all month long, you can get that for free when you join my Patreon down below. Now back to the video. Empty your inbox. We both know you don't really empty out your email inbox. Don't worry, I do the same thing. That's all right, we can get better together. If we're being honest here, I currently have 523 unopened emails today, but I am committed to deleting these and so should you, which is why I'm now going to be scheduling my inbox deleting sessions into my calendar because this deserves an appointment and not to just delete, but to also take this time to unsubscribe to stores that don't need any of my money in emails I never asked it have. I know in my heart and soul that I am not the only one who struggles with this. So I'm going to schedule so I'm going to schedule a recurring appointment every three months to simply remove what isn't needed in my life and inbox. Stay up to date with everything rising to be by signing up to the weekly newsletter. It's filled with blogs, videos, exclusive freebies, and so much more to help you rise to be who you want to be, create results, not plans. Don't stop rising. If you're watching on IGTV, you can sign up through my link in bio. Keep rising. Follow me on Instagram at Rising and Be for motivational content and Twitter at I am Rising and Be for inspirational tweets. Follow me on Pinterest at Rising and Be for several boards of inspiration and motivation. And join the Rising to Be Facebook group at Rising to Be. Keep rising. Create a note system. There are so many ways to take notes these days. You can use a paper or a digital notes app. No matter which system you use, it's fine. But by keeping seven notes apps in your phone, it gets a bit excessive. And of course, you'll start to think that digital notes aren't exactly right for you. When in reality, taking notes from several different apps is actually the issue. So take some time to figure out which app you like best. My favorite three digital note apps are Evernote, GoodNotes, and Notability. Not sponsored, of course. I've been using GoodNotes lately for when I'm on the go or whenever I can't find my paper notebook. I'm able to scribble down an idea, add photos, and split everything into separate notebooks to keep organized. I used to use Evernote, but lately it's gotten a bit stale. When I got my iPad, I just wanted to be like the other YouTubers. It's still a great app that you can use to take notes through different devices and save web page articles to read for later. I've used this app for years and it hasn't done me wrong. I just wanted something new and now I've been using GoodNotes and I've been loving it so far. And since I've been using it, I'm now hearing about this great app called Notability. But I paid to get the GoodNotes app, so I'm going to use it till I hate it. But some functions that Notability does have are voice functions you're able to save voice notes while writing. And then later on, you can go back and hear what you said during that exact time you wrote something down, which to me is worth paying for. So how will you keep your notes organized? I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know down below what tip you'll use to organize your desktop computer and stay organized. And I want to share the question of the day with you, which is what are you willing to endure to reach your dreams? Let me know your answers down below. And don't forget to download my free monthly motivational wallpapers for your computer and phone. And you can get that for free when you join my Patreon down below. The monthly theme for the month of August is the month of creating your own path to keep you motivated and inspired all month long. Delete dusty apps. You know you have a few apps or a few pages of apps in your phone that you need to delete, but you only use around seven in your phone on a weekly basis. And all of these unused things can eat up all of your valuable space on your phones, tablets, and computers. So take some time to press delete and don't click to open them. You don't want to get distracted by doing this. It can start to make you think that maybe all of these apps are actually valuable and that maybe you really do need them. But trust me, you don't. Just get back to deleting what you don't need. You can easily re-download them again. Your phone actually keeps a log of everything you've downloaded, so you're safe. Strengthen your passwords. People and businesses are getting hacked every other day and you need to protect what's important to you, which is why I strongly suggest using a password manager like LastPass or 1Password 
to boost your digital security. These password managers are like a digital vault so that you only have to remember one master password. Your password should be complex and hard to hack into. Some people even file their master password with their will so that way their family can access it during an emergency. And I'll see you in my next video. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel. If you have a video idea on what you would like to see next, make sure to comment it down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that more people like you can watch more videos just like this. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. I truly appreciate it. Remember, as we rise to be, we are becoming who we want to be. I am Christina B. Rising, and I will always be rising. So, keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye!